speak that has a divine backing is the word of God. That which bewitching your life, bewitching your marriage, bewitching your children, in the name of Jesus, I terminate her power. Lakini haitaweze kana bila Mungu. Daktari hataweza. Lakini search as I have, I give to you. What is it that you have? And you cannot have without dwelling in his presence. Thou shalt find on understanding dreams. Usiku wa leo na shiriki kuhusu kuelewa ndoto. Amen. Amen. Understanding what? Amen. Kuelewa nini? God speaks through dreams and visions. Mungu hunena kupitia maono na ndoto. God speaks through visions and dreams. Mungu hunena kupitia ndoto na maono. When you dream, unapota, you should never take dreams lightly. Usiju kazipuuza ndoto zako. Any dream you dream, ndoto yote ambayo unapata, never take it lightly. Please. I want you to get this message it will help you forever. Nataka upokee ujumbe huu utakusaidia milele. Dreams ndoto are God's voices of the night. Ni sauti yake Mungu wakati wa usiku. I hope you heard what I said. Nafikiria umeelewa ninachosema. Dreams ndoto are God's voices of the night. Ni sauti yake Mungu wakati wa usiku. Let's read Job 33 verse 14 to 16. Tusome Ayubu 33 13 mpaka 16 14 16 says for god may speak in one way or another yet man does not perceive it maana mungu aweza kanena kwa njia moja ama nyingine lakini mwanadamu haielewi did you get that ndio umepokea hilo god can speak in one way or another way yet man does not perceive it mungu aweza nena kwa njia moja ama nyingine lakini mwanadamu haielewi. Verse number 15. Mstari wa 15. He can speak in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falls upon men while slumbering on their beds. Aweza kanena kwa ndoto uh-huh. au katika maono ya usiku uh-huh. wakati usingizi mzito huwapata wanadamu walalapo vitandani mwao. In a dream katika ndoto in visions of the night katika maono ya usiku so dreams are god's visions of the night god's voice of the night ndoto basi ni sauti ya mungu wakati wa usiku he said when men are sleeping or slumbering on their bed wakati wanadamu wanapolala makuzinzia katika vitanda vyao verse number 16 16 then he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction ndipo ufunua masikio ya wanadamu uh-huh. na kuweka muhuri maagizo yake so dreams is the voice of god of the night ndoto basi ni sauti yake mungu wakati wa usiku is god speaks in many ways that's what the bible is saying mungu hunena kwa njia tofauti tofauti ndivyo biblia inavyosema and one of the ways he speaks is dreams another one is vision na njia moja wapo anaponena nasi ni kupitia ndoto njia nyingine ni maono but tonight i'm talking about dreams lakini jioni hii nitazingatia ndoto praise the name of the lord bwana yesu asifiwe god can speak to you in a dream mungu aweza kanena nawe kupitia ndoto if you read genesis 20 ukisoma mwanzo 20 verse 3 to 5 mstari wa 3 mpaka 5 you find a man called abimelech utampata mtu aitwaye abimeleki the bible says but god came to abimelech in a dream by night Biblia yasema lakini Mungu akamjia Abimeleki kupitia ndoto ya usiku. By this time he had taken Sarah the wife of Abraham. Wakati huo alikuwa amemtoa Sarah mke wake Ibrahimu. And the Bible says God told him you are a dead man. Na wakati huo Mungu alipomjia kwa ndoto akamweleza wewe ni mtu mfu. God began to speak to him. Mungu akaanza kuongea na yeye. That you have taken someone's wife. Umemtoa mke wa mtu mwingine. And I'm going to kill you. Na hakika nitakuua. You are actually dead as I'm talking to you. Hakika wewe ni mtu mfu ninaponena na wewe. But Abimelech said, God you cannot destroy a righteous nation or a righteous man. 
Meleke akasema Mungu uwezi kaangamiza mtu mwenye haki. It is Abraham who told me that she is my sister. Ibrahim mwenyewe ndiye aliyenieleza huyu ni dadangu. But what I'm trying to prove there is that God speaks through dream. Nacho thibitisha kupitia andiko hilo ni kwamba Mungu nena nasi kupitia ndoto. Genesis 37. Mwanzo 37 and verse 5 to 11 God spoke to Joseph through dreams Mungu alinena na Yusufu kupitia ndoto and his brothers hated him Nao ndugu zake wakamchukia He dreamed again Aliota tena He saw them binding sheaves Akawaona wakifunga ngano and the 11 sheaves fell and he stood he stood upright Vifurushi 11 vikaanguka na chake yake ikasimama juu This, and his brother said to him will you reign over us na ndugu zake wakamuuliza je utatutawala nasi god spoke to him through a dream mungu alinena naye kupitia ndoto and he, the bible says and he dreamed again biblia yasema tena akaota and then this time he saw the sun the moon and 12 stars wakati huo akaona jua na mwezi pamoja na nyota 12 and his star was the only one remaining all of all the others were bowing down to him nayo nyota yake ndio pekee ilimesalia zingine zote zilikuwa zinaisujudia god spoke to him of his destiny mungu alinena naye kuhusu hatma yake not by voice sio kwa sauti by dream kupitia ndoto how many of you dream in the night ni wangapi wetu wote wakati usiku I know you are wondering me I dream about cows chasing me. Najua unashangaa unasema mimi ni huwa naota nikifukuzwa na ngombe. But I will come to that. Lakini nitafikia hayo. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But the point is that God speaks through dreams. Nacho maanisha ni kwamba Mungu hunena nasi kupitia ndoto. Even when a cow is chasing you in a dream God is speaking. Hata unapofukuzwa na ngombe kwenye ndoto ni Mungu ananena na wewe. Hello God is doing what? Mungu anafanya nini? Even when a cow is chasing you. Hata unapokimbishwa na ngombe. God is speaking. Mungu ananena. <laughs> okay. Genesis 40. Mwanzo 40. There is a guy called two guys called the baker and the butler. Kuna watu wawili wanaitwa muokaji mikate na mnyweshi wa mfalme. The Bible says they dreamt. Biblia sema wote waliota. This time they in prison together with Joseph wakati walikuwa gerezani pamoja na Yusufu and they told Joseph their dreams na wote wakamweleza Yusufu ndoto zao one said i dreamed mmoja akasema naliota i saw three vine niliona mizabibu tatu and there are branches nilikuwa na matawi tatu blossomed nayo ilikuwa imenawiri there were grapes kulikuwa na mizabibu then i gave to pharaoh to drink in a cup kisha nika 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 vichuma nikapeana kwa farao wa vinywe kwenye kikombe and joseph said na Yusufu akamweleza you will be forgiven after three days baada ya siku tatu utasamehewa and the king will return to you your job of of serving him na bwana atakurejesha atakurejesha kuhuduma yako ya kumtumikia but there was a chief baker lakini kuna huyu muokaji the bible says when he heard biblia yasema aliposikia that the the interpretation of the dream was good tafsiri ya ndoto ya kwanza ilikuwa nzuri he said even mine i will tell it even mine is a good one akasema nami nitaomba nitafsiriwe ndoto yangu and the bible says na biblia yasema he also said i dreamed naye akasema niliota i was carrying baskets nilikuwa nimebeba kikapu and there was some good food in the basket on my head kwenye kikapu kichwani mwangu palikuwa na chakula kizuri and the birds came and ate lakini ndege walikuwa wakija na kula chakula hicho <laughs> joseph said yusufu akamwambia head will be cut off kichwa, kichwa chako kitakatwa so god speaks in dreams mungu hunena kupitia ndoto and after three days exactly what joseph what joseph told them that is what happened na hakika jinsi walivyotafsiriwa na yusufu baada ya siku tatu ndivyo vilivyotendeka genesis 41 mwanzo 41 verse 1 to 7 mstari wa kwanza mpaka saba. Pharaoh dreamed the king of his, the king of Egypt Pharaoh mfalme wa Misri aliota he saw seven fat cows and seven thin cows aliona ngombe saba wa nono na ngombe saba waliokonda fat cows came out of the river na hawa ngombe walio nona walitoka kwenye mto and seven thin cows came out of the river and swallowed the fat ones na hawa ngombe saba waliokonda wakatoka pia kwenye mto na kawameza wale ngombe saba waliokuwa wamenona maybe you have dreamed you have seen a cow swallowing you labda umeota ukiona ngombe akikumeza you are not the first one sio wewe wa kwanza pharaoh dreamed pharaoh naye aliota hallelujah hallelujah so there are those dreams 
Kunazo hizo ndoto. But the interpretation was there will be seven years of great harvest and there will be seven years of, of famine. And the seven years of famine will swallow the, the harvest that, was, that previously was harvested in seven years. Praise the Lord. What am I trying to say? God speaks through dreams. In the New Testament, God spoke to the wise men. You remember when they went to see the baby Jesus? Matthew chapter 2. They went to worship baby Jesus. They passed by Herod. But God appeared to them in a dream and said, don't go back to that man. Lakini kupitia ndoto Bwana kaonekania kawaonya wasirudi kwake Herodi. Hello. Hello. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Mwelewa ninavyosema. I will be landing. I will be landing shortly. Hivi karibuni nitakuwa nafikisha ujumbe wangu. Because I'm glad you came. Maana nafurahia ulikuja. The devil will not torture you from today. Ibilisi hata kutesa tena kutoka leo. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. In Matthew chapter 2 again. Katika Mathayo sura ya pili tena. From verse 13 to 15. Kuanzia mstari wa 13 mpaka 15. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus. Yusuf ambaye alikuwa baba wake Yesu, mlezi. Mlezi wake Yesu. Baba mlezi. God appeared to him in a dream. Mungu alimuonekania katika ndoto. He said in a dream, arise. Akamwonya akimwambia inuka. Take the child to Egypt. Mchukue huyu mtoto Misri. Because Pharaoh because Herod wants to kill him. Maana Herod anamtafuta muue. God God gave him an instruction in a dream. Mungu alimpa agizo katika ndoto. And he took the child. Naye akamchukua mtoto. And they went to Egypt. Nao wakatorokea Misri. Again, tena in verse 19 to 23 of the same chapter, chapter 2. Katika hiyo sura ya pili ya ya Mathayo mstari wa 19 mpaka 22. In a dream, katika ndoto, God appeared again. The angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Malaika wa Bwana alimjia Yusuf katika ndoto. And he told him now Herod is dead, you can take the baby back. Akamweleza sasa Herod amekufa unaweza mrudisha mtoto Israeli. Are you seeing that God speaks through dreams? Je, waona Mungu unaenda kupitia ndoto? Did you get it? Je, umepokea? Jamani mmepata. All right. God speaks through dreams. Mungu hunena kupitia ndoto. And that's why you should understand dreams. Na ndio maana ni vizuri uelewe ndoto. Every dream you dream, you should not take it lightly. Kila ndoto unayoota usije ukaipuuza. Amen. Amen. It is very very important. Ni muhimu sana. So, I want to preach now. Sasa nataka nihubiri. When you dream, unapoota, what should happen? Unapaswa kufanya nini? When you dream, unapoota, what should happen? Unapaswa kufanya nini? Now, when you dream, unapoota, there are three possibilities. Kuna uwezekano tatu. Number 1. Nambari moja, it is a divine instruction or a message from God. Ni agizo la kiungu ama ujumbe kutoka kwa Mungu. That God has given you. Ambao Mungu amekupa. God is giving you an instruction. Mungu anakupa agizo. God is giving you a message. Mungu anakupa ujumbe. That's why Ndwe don't mana, bash out dreams. Usiju, or ignore dreams. Usiju kapuuza ndoto zako. Because we have read in Job 33, 14 to 16. Maana tumesoma katika Ayubu 33, 13-14. The Bible says that God speaks in one way or the other. Bibli imesema mungu hunena kwa njia moja ama njia nyingine. He speaks in a dream and the vision of the night. Hunena katika ndoto ya usiku na maono ya usiku. When men are asleep. Wanadamu walalapu. It can be a message. Ya wezekani kawa ni ujumbe. There are dream, dreams that have dreamt. And they became a reality. God gave me a message. Mungu ujumbe. And that message, many times actually, God has spoken to me in dreams. Sometimes I even receive a message that I preach in dreams. I see myself preaching. In dreams. Katika ndoto. Praise the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So remember that God gives you a message in dreams. Kumbuka Mungu kupa ujumbe kupitia ndoto. So when you see men are chasing you in a dream, 
Unapoona unakimbishwa na watu katika ndoto It is a message. Huo ni ujumbe. Is a message. Huo ni ujumbe unapewa. God is speaking to you something. Kuna kitu Mungu anakueleza. Don't just say it is a dream. Usije ukapuuzu ukisema ni ndoto tu kawaida. No, hapana. There is a message God is trying to communicate to you. Kuna ujumbe Mungu anajaribu kuwasilisha kwako. It is your responsibility. Nalo ni jukumu lako. Now listen to what I'm saying. Nisikize sasa It is your responsibility. Ni jukumu lako to try to understand kujaribu kuelewa what is God saying to me. Mungu ananieleza nini? Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is your responsibility to try and understand what is God saying to me. Why am I running in the night? If you see yourself running in the night, somebody is trying to kill you, it means that the spirit of witchcraft is after you. Ukiona unakimbizwa na mtu anayejaribu kukuua usiku, yamaanisha kuna roho ya uchawi nao kuandama. So you must understand lazima uelewe that God is communicating a message to you. Kuna ujumbe Mungu anawasiliana nami. That's why you should rise up and begin to pray. Ndio maana unapaswa kuamka na uanze kuomba. Dreams are not supposed to be ignored. Ndoto hazipaswi kupuuzwa. Demonic witches visit you in the dreams. Wachawi na walozi ukutembelea katika ndoto. Because they get out of the body they come in form of spirit. Maana uondoka katika mwili wao ama kiwiliwili chao kisha ukutembelea kwa mfano wa roho. And they may come in form of a bird, in form of an animal chasing you. Nao wanaweza kutokea katika ndoto kama ndege ama mnyama naye kufukuza. So you should rise up. Imekubidi kuamka. When you dream, unapota and begin to inquire from the lord what is the message here na uanze kumuuliza mungu na kujua kutoka kwake ujumbe hapa ni upi what is the message here ujumbe unawasilisha kwangu ni upi you may even see a dream of 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 of, of people attacking the church katika ndoto unaezaona watu wakilishambulia kanisa so you must you must know what is god saying here lazima ujiulize mungu ananionyesha nini and let me say something the best time to pray is between 3 a.m. 2 a.m. 1 a.m. until 5 and i will give you the reason why na sababu mzuri ya kuomba ni kati ya saa 7 saa 8 saa 9 mpaka mpaka saa 11 sometimes actually from midnight wakati mwingine kuanzia usiku saa 6 because that's the time the witches are very active maana ndio wakati wachawi wametoka kufanya shughuli zao ask any witch he will tell you muulize mchawi yeyote atakueleza that is when they don't sleep huo ndio wakati wa walali So God when you dream there is a message God is communicating so it is for your responsibility to inquire from God God what are you saying to me Unapoota kuna ujumbe Mungu anawasilisha kwako na ni jukumu lako kumuuliza Mungu ni nini unataka nijue Can you imagine if Joseph never carried Jesus to Egypt Hebu fikiria kama Yusufu angemtorosha Yesu kwenda Misri. Jesus would have been killed as a small child. Yesu angewawa akiwa mtoto mdogo. Angesema hii ni ndoto. He could have killed as a small child. Yesu angewawa akiwa mtoto mdogo. Because when Herod saw, maana Herod alipoona that the wise men never came back. Mama juzi hawakuja kumpa ujumbe mtoto alikozaliwa and he knew from the time they came until now it is about 2 years naye akafahamu tangu aliponijia mpaka wakati huu leo hii ni miaka miwili imepita it was not exactly 2 years it was about ilikuwa kati ya mwaka moja na miaka miwili so he said i don't know whether it's about 2 years let me kill any child that is a boy from 2 years and below naye akasema ili nifanye kazi nzuri mtoto yote aliyezaliwa kati ya miaka mbili na kwenda chini atawawa but thank god kinya shukuriwe Mungu Joseph received the instruction by a dream Yusufu alipokea agizo kupitia ndoto If it is a good message like this one Kama ni ujumbe mzuri kama huu God is telling you to do something so that you can escape something Mungu anakueleza ufanye kitu ili uepuke madhara fulani The best thing you can do Kitu kizuri unapaswa kufanya is to obey the message Ni kutii ujumbe 
Amenisikia? Okay, number two. Nambari mbili. A dream may be a divine warning. Ndoto yaweza kuwa onyo la kiungu. It might be a message. Iweze kani kawa ni ujumbe. Or a divine warning. That is number two. Ama nambari mbili neza kuwa onyo la kiungu. Matthew 2 verse 12. Mathayo mbili mustari wa kuminambili. Talking about the wise men. Kinena kuhusu mama juzi. The Bible says, then, being divinely warned in a dream. Nipo, walipo onyo kiungu katika ndoto. That they should not return to Herod. Ya kwamba wasirudi kwa ke Herodi. A dream can come to you as a warning. Ndoto ya weza kuja kwa kama onyo. Be careful of what you are doing. Makiniko na chofanya. Let your eyes open up. Macho yako ya funguke. You may see yourself in a dream trying to do something or even a business. Weza jiona kwenye ndoto kijaribu kufanya kitu wa malabda biashara. And then you see the, the business has gone in a dream. Kishu nono yu biashari kipotea katika ndoto. So God is warning you. Mungu wana kuonya. Don't, do that. Don't go to that business. Usiingie kwenye biashara hiyo. I don't know, just let me give me an example. You may be, maybe you are a young man or a young lady. Hebu ni wape mfano labda wewe ni kijana mwanaume mchanga ama kijana wakike mchanga. You are engaged. Na umechumbiwa. And then you dream. Na kishu naota. You are fighting with the lady and you are not married. The same lady you are engaged to. Una pigana na huyu ndugu ama huyu dada ambayo umechumbia na nae lakini bada mja wana. God is warning you. Ni mungu wana kupa huyu. That marriage will be a marriage of war. Hiyo ndoa itakuwa ndoa ya vita. Ah, that was just a dream. Wacha tuwa wana. Ah, ilikuwa tu ndoto. Hey, my brother, my sister. Ndugu yangu, dada yangu. Have you heard the Nigerians say fire for fire who? Jo mesikia wa Nigeria wa kisema fire for fire who? It will be exactly like that. Hakika itakuwa hivyo. So God might be warning you. Mungu aneza kuwa na kuwa. Leave that lady, leave that young man. Achana na huyo dada, achana na huyo ndugu. Leave that business. Achana na hiyo biashara. You might be wanting to travel to Nairobi. Wendu nataka kusafiri kwenda Nairobi. And then you dream you are in a car. Kishu watu huko katika gari. And then the car has rolled. Na hilo gari limebingirika. Don't go. Usiende. God has already warned you. Tayari mungu wa mekuonya. Don't just say it is just a dream. Usije tu kaseme yu ni ndoto tu. You remember the seven cows swallowing the fat cows? I gave you that scripture. Na kumbuka ngombe saba wakonde wakuameza ngombe saba wanono. God had already warned Pharaoh that famine is coming. Mungu teari alikuwa memuonya Pharaoh kuna ukame unakuja. And Joseph interpreted the dream. Na Yusufu wakaitafsiri ndoto. And Joseph gave wisdom to Pharaoh. Na Yusufu wakamupa Pharaoh hikima. He said we shall do a lot of planting in the seven years. Akamueleza kwa miaka saba ya kutangulia tutafanya kilimo tele. We shall build big stores. Tutajenga gala kubwa kubwa. And you understand development began in Africa, Egypt, pyramids and whatever. They have never been anywhere except in Africa. Nasi toelewa maendeleo ya kisasa ya lianzia hapa Afrika. Kujengwa kwa piramidi na vitu vingine haikuwepo mala pingini lianzia hapa Afrika. They began to store food. Wakaanza kuweka chakula. They stored food for seven years. Wakaweka chakula kwenye magala miaka saba. The whole world. Ulimwengu mzima. For seven years. Kwa miaka saba. Went to Egypt to buy food. Ulielekea misiri kununua chakula. God warned them. Mungu waliwaonya. And God gave them an instruction. Na mungu waliwapa agizo. Don't take dreams lightly. Usiju kapuza ndoto zako. Can I an amen in the house of God? There is a time I have. I dreamt. Kuna wakati niliota. Those days, I did not have this revelation. Hizo siku sikuwa na ufumuo hui. I dreamed and I saw a scorpion in a dream coming from the skies. Niliota ni kona nge akitere muka kutoka kwenye anga. And it beat my stomach. Na ya kaniuma kwenye tumbo. And in a dream. Na katika ndoto. I felt pain in my stomach. Nikasikia uchungu kwenye tumbo. And I beat it physically. Na nikaipiga kweli. But I'm asleep. Lakini kumbuka ni melala. And I beat Pastor Esther. Nikapata ni mempiga mchukaji Esther. Kamoro, hey, oro, 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 say. Hello, praise the Lord. 
And then she woke up. Kisha kamuka. Said, honey, why are you beating me? Can you listen, mbono na nichapa? I said, no, I was trying to beat the scorpion that was biting me. Nika mweleza kuna nge alie kuwa na niuma ndia nilikuwa na piga. And from that day, I became very sick. Na kutoka siku yu nikawa mgonjwa sana. And I ended up in Kenyatta Hospital. We did not tell the church. Nika malizia kuenda hospitali kuya Kenyatta na hata tukueleza kanisa. But we prayed together with Bishop Mark. Lakini tukaomba pamoja na skufu Mark. And God miraculously healed me. Naye Mungu kimiujiza kaniponya. If I would have said it's old, it's just a dream. Kama ningepuuza tu niseme ni ndoto. Maybe I could not be alive today. Wendi kawa singekuwa hai leo hii. Hello. Hello. There's a time I dreamed my mother is in a coffin. Kuna wakati niliota mama yangu yuko kwenye jeneza. And I knew God is telling me my, your mother is going to die. Na nikajua Mungu ananieleza mama yako anaenda kufa. So I began to bind the spirit of death. Nikaanza kufunga roho ya kifo. And by the grace of God she's alive. Na kwa neema ya Mungu yuko hai. So some dreams, ndoto zingine, children of God, watoto wa Mungu, they are warnings. Ni maonyo. Maybe you are working Labda unafanya kazi. And you earn good salary. Na unapata mshahara mzuri. But you see yourself you are dreaming you are begging. Lakini unajiona kwenye ndoto kiombaomba. That means you are going to lose your job. Ya maanisha unaenda kuipoteza kazi yako. And you are going to be a beggar. Na unaenda kumalizia kuombaomba. I decree that shall not happen to any one of you. Natangaza haitampata yote kati yetu. It will not happen to any one of you. Haitampata yote kati yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So a dream can be a warning. Ndoto awezekani kawa onyo. Be very careful of the dreams that you dream. Makinika sana kuhusu ndoto nazo ziota. Number three, it can be a demonic attack. Tatu inaweza kuwa mashambulizi ya kipepo. Number one, it can be an instruction from heaven. Moja tumesema iwezekani kawa ni agizo kutoka mbinguni. Number two, it can be a warning from heaven. Pili inawezekani kawa ni onyo kutoka mbinguni. Number three, it can be a, a demonic attack. Tatu yawezekani kawa ni shambulizi la kipepo. And I've already given you my own testimony. Na tayari nimewapo shahuda wangu binafsi. It can be the devil has planned to attack you when you dream. Inawezekana ibilisi amepanga kukushambulia unapo na unafunuliwa katika ndoto. There is a time na wakati in my in our personal life as a family. Katika maisha yetu kama jamii we were struck a bit straining in, in money. Tulikuwa tunangangana kifedha. Yes, we get the money. Ndio tunapata pesa. But things come and things happen. Vitu vinatokea lakini pesa zinaenda. And we were straining. Na tukawa tunangangana. Then Pastor Esther dreamt. Ndipo mchungaji Esther akaota. And I also dreamt. Nami nikaota. We saw a hand. Tuliona mkono. That is taking our money. Unaochukua pesa zetu. In a dream. Katika ndoto. And that hand was coming from our own village, me. Na mkono huo ulikuwa unatoka kijijini mwetu. She saw it. Yeye aliona I saw it. Nami nikaona. So we knew there was a demonic power to, that is coming for an attack on our finances. Tukajua kuna nguvu za kipepo zinazoshambulia pesa zetu. Then we agreed, let's take charge. Tukakubaliana wacha tuchukue mamlaka. We began to bind the hand, the demonic hand that takes money from us. Huo mkono wa kipepo tukaanza kuufunga nao tunyang'anya pesa. And by the grace of God we have seen the goodness of God. Na kwa neema ya Mungu tumeona wema wa Bwana. Some of you is the same thing that is happening. Baadhi yenu labda inatendeka vivyo hivyo. You get money you don't know where it is going to. Unapata pesa lakini uone unafanyia. There is a demonic hand involved. Kuna mkono wa kipepo na husika. You should rise up. Nimekubidi kuamka. If you see it is an attack, ukiona ni mashambulizi, and you dream bad things happening to you. Unaota vitu vibaya vikikupata. That means a bad thing is about to happen. Yamaanisha kitu kibaya cha karibia kutendeka. You dream. Unaota. Your husband is dead. Mke wako amekufa. Your wife is sick. Dead. Mke wako amekufa. Your child is dead. Mtoto wako amekufa. But when you wake up in the morning they are very healthy. Lakini wamkapo asubuhi unapata wana afya. Don't take it ah hiyo ilikuwa ni ndoto. They are very healthy. Usipuuze tu wana afya ilikuwa tu ndoto. No. Uh-uh. That means the devil is planning an attack. God Yamanisha. has revealed it to you in a dream. Ibilisi anapanga mashambulizi na Mungu amekufunulia katika ndoto. Hello. Hello. That's why Pharaoh dreamed. Ndio maana Farao aliota. He dreamed. Aliota. He saw seven years fat I mean fat cows swallowing 
I mean thin cows swallowing fat cows. Aliona ngombe saba wa konde wa kimeza ngombe saba wa nono. If you ask yourself a question. Ukijiuliza swali. Thin animals that have no food. How can they swallow energetic animals? Ngombe saba wa sio kwa nabu hizi. It's not possible. Hata nguvu ya kutafuna wanata. Watawezaje meza ngombe wa nono? Inawezekanaje? So you can ignore the dream is not possible. Ndoto kama hiyo unaweza puuza ukasema tu ni ndoto tu ya kawaida. But when you take that warning, lakini ukichukua onyo hilo and you fight, na upigane, you will be more than a conqueror. Utakuwa zaidi ya mshindi. From today nothing evil shall happen to you. Kutoka leo hakuna mabaya yatakayokupata. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The Lord put this in my heart. Bwana aliweka haya moyoni mwangu. That I may teach those who will come in tonight. Ni wafunzi watakaofika jioni hii. You are far much better than those who did not come. Uko mbele na bora zaidi kuliko wale ambao hawakufika. So you need to know three things about dreams. Unahitajika kujua vitu hivi vitatu kuhusu ndoto. Number one is the divine message. Kwanza ni ujumbe wa kiungo. Whether negative or positive. Uwe ujumbe mzuri ama ujumbe mbaya. If it is negative is a message. Kama ni mbaya ni ujumbe that you must fight. Lazima upigane. You must resist that demonic attack that the devil is planning. God is telling you there is a, an evil plan in the atmosphere against you. Mungu anakueleza kwenye anga kuna mipango miovu kukuuzu na lazima uzipinge. Hello. Hello. It can be a warning. Inaweza kuwa onyo. God is telling you not to do some things. Mungu anakueleza usifanye vitu fulani. Don't go to some places. Usiende sehemu fulani. There is a time uh, we have dreamed that some some friends kuna wakati tumeota kuwa marafiki wengine they are even pastors hata wengine ni wachungaji they are throwing me in a hole wananitupa mimi kwenye shimo then i knew ndipo nikajua after that dream baada hiyo ndoto the same pastor i dreamed about huyo mchungaji niliyemuota and i knew their character is not good na nikajua tabia yake si nzuri they began calling me after two days of that dream they began calling me they, they have never called me wakaanza kunipigia simu siku mbili baada ya hiyo ndoto na wale wako wananipigia and i said we said with pastor esther now the dream is this tukasema na mchungaji esther ndoto ndio hii sasa they want us to partner with them wanataka tushikamane nao and i knew that which i saw in the dream nikajua nilichoona kwenye ndoto actually pastor esther saw it hakika mchungaji esther aliona and i told her i, I saw it kamweleza nami niliona God had already warned us Mungu alikuwa ametuonya tayari so we, we we ignored it we we greeted them they are men of God we appreciate but God had already warned us we should never never try it tukawapuuza tukao tunawasalimia kawaida ni watumishi wa Mungu tawaheshimu lakini Bwana alikuwa ametuonya tusifanye uh, chochote pamoja nao kwa jumla some of you are suffering because you ignored some dreams that God gave you Badienu mwateseka leo hii maana kuna ndoto Mungu aliwapa za kuonya lakini mlizipuuza. You ignore that. Hiyo ni ndoto. Ulipuuza hiyo ni ndoto tu. Ah ah it is not. Ah ah it speaks in many ways in dreams and visions of the night. And dreams are the visions of the night. Unena kwa njia tofauti tofauti kupitia maono na ndoto za usiku. Nazo ndoto ndizo maono ya usiku. So please basi tafadhali don't be foolish usiwe mpumbavu wake up amka i said wake up nasema amka i said wake up nasema amka can i a better amen wake up amka wake up yeah. amka that's why ndio maana if you have watched my preachings of late for past 2 3 4 months kama umechunguza mahubiri yangu miezi tatu ina hivi imepita I am pushing this church to be closer to God. Nalisongeza kanisa hili kuwa karibu na Mungu. I am telling you pray. Nawaeleza I am telling you walk with God. Nawaeleza tembea na Mungu. Because that's your only solution from the demonic attacks. Ndio maana hiyo ndio suluhu yako ya pekee kutokana na mashambulizi ya kipepo. In every church, katika kila kanisa that is a divine godly church that has a godly pastor ambalo ni kanisa la kiungu lilo na mchungaji wa kiungu you get a demonic agent utapata kuna agent wa, kish, wa, wa shetani not one si mmoja many wengi sana to bring the work of god down ili kuishusha kazi ya mungu chini 
but if you listen to the voice of God, either through the word, either through dreams and visions, or God can speak to you audibly, if it is a divine instruction, obey it immediately. If it is a warning, also take heed. Jihadari. Yeah, be careful. Jihadari kabisa. You know, if you don't take God's warning, you will suffer. And if it is a demonic attack, and if it is a demonic attack, listen to what I'm saying now. Fight back by binding. Pigana kwa kufunga. Rebuke. Kemea. Resist. Kata. Destroy. Haribu. Every evil plans of the enemy against your life. Kila mipango miovu ya shetani didi ya maisha yako. I wish I had a better amen. La hiti ningesikia meni nzuri. If it is a demonic attack. Kama ni shambulizi la kipepo. Fight back. Pigana. By binding. Kwa kufunga. Rebuke. Kwa kukemea. Resist. Kwa kukata. Destroy the evil plans of the enemy. Because the Bible says, Resist the devil and he shall flee. The Bible also says, Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So you have the authority to stop any evil from happening in your life or to your family. Especially after God has warned you, God has shown you, you can stop it. It is better what God has shown you that it happens. That is okay because God never showed you, so it was hidden from you. But what God has shown you that is negative should never happen in your life. Heri kitendeke kile haukuonyeshwa na Mungu maana haukuonyeshwa lakini ulichoonyeshwa na ukaonywa si vizuri kupate So don't play with dreams Usicheze nazo ndoto My children in the Lord Watoto wangu katika Bwana Don't play don't play with dreams Msifanye mchezo na ndoto Obey the divine instruction Tia gizo la kiungu If it's a warning be careful take heed and if it is a demonic attack that you see in the dream, fight back. Say like Prophet Mika. Rejoice not against me, oh my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. And when I walk in darkness, the Lord shall become a light to me. That is Mika 7-8. When I fall, rejoice not my enemy. When I fall, I shall arise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. Hallelujah. You will not remain at the bottom forever. You will rise up again. I say you will rise up again. In case the devil attacked you and the dream became a reality, now you can rise up. Tell the devil I have known the truth. Don't rejoice. I will rise up again. Hmm. Remember you also have power. Kumbuka nao una nguvu. That whatever you bind on earth. Una mamlaka kwamba chochote ufungacho duniani. Shall be bound in heaven. Itafungwa mbinguni. And whatever you lose. Na chochote unachofungulia. Shall be loose. Itafunguliwa. Itafunguliwa.